thanks for dropping in and checking the channel out. Sure do appreciate it. Got some big decisions coming up and some money to spend. And I hope I make the right decision. I've decided to go back in the differential and pull the carrier out, which will also mean pulling axles rework. My Jeep WJ. Okay, still got the noises. I'm gonna continue investigating. I'm gonna get on it a little bit here, see what happens. And I'm out uh, test driving again. I believe uh, installing a new drive shaft would have cleared most of the noise out in the rear differential area. pretty damn good there. I got it up to 60 pretty quick. I don't know if I got that on video because it jerked me back when I took off. My Jeep out. And good afternoon. This is my Jeep update for April 4th. And it's uh, Monday 2022 and it's about uh, 5 in the afternoon or so anyway I haven't done any work on the Jeep I, I did a little piddling uh, around it old uh, Billy Bob would say I, I took the rear wheels back off and put jack down and got it jacked up and uh, get it prepared for uh, some additional work and some parts come in and I'm gonna do some uh, you know I got that rear end noise I think it's coming from the uh, possibly coming from the pinion yoke uh, maybe the gears in there could be the crush uh, wa washer I'm not sure exactly of all that name of all that nomenclature back there but I definitely got some noise back there somewhere and I can't find it in my suspension. So it, I, it could be uh, some uh, wear and uh, in that differential and the yoke and that pinion shaft area. I'm not really sure, so I'm gonna do some investigating back there. But What are you? Some kind of Rockford? Yeah, this month, July, I made a decision, uh, I'm going to go back into that rear differential, pull that carrier out, and do some looking, investigating. When I put those rear axles in, I should have paid more attention to this rear differential. I just assume because it looked good, the gear looked great to me, that it was all right. So I'll have uh, more rework coming. To get the carrier and pinion out, I'll have to uh, pull the axles, and uh, I'll have to inspect those carrier gears, the spider gears, the bearing, every component in there. And most likely, I'll go ahead and replace everything after reaching that point. 